So that was it. You saw it right here. There's several things I'm not happy about on this one. One of which is I'm getting a phone call right in the middle of this. Yo. Yep. Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and man, what a week. So after my video Monday, you know, my computer was still down then, and I ended up getting notified that night that it was back up. Well, the next day, an Arctic front moves through. The day after that, it begins to rain. And the day after that, it rained more. So we got a little ice storm here, and so we sat on pins and needles for two days just waiting to lose electricity. And fortunately, we never did. So that kind of delayed me from doing a video this week because I wasn't getting out in the shop just waiting on the electricity to quit right in the middle of a cut since I just got my computer back up. I didn't want it killing right in the middle of a process. That computer needs all the help I can give it. <laughs> so you recall a couple of videos ago, I did a wreath. And as promised, I would show it after my wife painted it. She still has a little touch up. Didn't want me to bring it out here because she hadn't got the edges yet and the inside right here. But I mean, seriously, that's just a little black. But I mean, look at the detail. I don't have the patience for that. I'm glad she does. So what else is going on this week is we've got a trade show at, on Saturday. I'm going to be humped up all week making orders or making stuff for the trade show. And it's just going to be repetitive stuff. I'm hoping... I get a gap in there where I can shoot a video for Friday. If not, sorry, it'll probably be Monday until you see the next one. And then that next week's going to be all the same thing because we got another trade show the Saturday after it. Again, if I get a gap in there and I come up with some good graphics, I've got a few things saved back. Uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and shoot a video for Friday. Hopefully so. So this time what we're going to do is you recall we did uh, some programming for two different wreaths. Of course, this one. And then my computer went down again. And we did one that had holes for lights. So we're going to give that one a shot today. So let's go.
So how many of y'all noticed <laughs> that whenever I picked up the board and was showing you off the machine, the holes were a different size? Well, that's because when I brought it out here to cut it the first time, this is my second attempt at this one, the machine just sat there and cut a line straight across the middle. I thought, man, I must have a bad programming error. So I went back in, programmed the whole project again, came back out here, started thinking about it. While I started trying to zero the machine, the x-axis wasn't working. So I reached back there to the plug. The plug wasn't plugged all the way in. The x-pins weren't touching. So the first program was fine. So what I did when I reprogrammed it is I didn't change the size of the holes. I'd already figured out the correct size of the holes, and I didn't change it. And so the holes were too small. So instead of running in there because I was running out of time tonight and trying to uh, make the reprogram it again and cut the holes bigger, I ran over to the drill press. Yeah. And I started to show it to you, but that ended up being a debacle too. I couldn't find the right size drill bit and I dug around for 30 minutes. By the time I found it, I was just doing it and being done with it. It was just one of those things. The last couple of projects have been that way for me. I don't know what the deal is. So that was it. Now I'm gonna be forward with you. There's several things I don't like about this one. Uh, one of them you're gonna saw, you've seen when I was trying to paint in the edges, the chipping. So anybody that's gonna to try to, <laughs> I just noticed some, over, noticed some overspray there that I missed. Guess I'll touch that up. So one of the things was the offset going around the edge. I used a 0.01. So just for reference, do either a 0.02 or 0.03. I'd probably go 03 just to be sure you have that wide enough base around there so it doesn't chip off around the boat. So the other thing I'm not real happy about, well, there's two things. I hate hot glue. It's such a pain to mess with. It's so messy, it strings everywhere. It holds the lights in place good, I'll get it. But when I light this thing up, I mean, it looks cool. It lights up like I meant for it to. I'm thinking I should have done some red lights in the bowl. I think it would have stood out more. We are gonna probably not sell this one. I'm gonna take this one to my wife, see what she thinks. Uh, if I need to make improvements, I'll just do another one and make improvements on it and do red lights in the bowl. Don't know yet. But it was just kind of a good idea. I mean, we programmed it, and like I said, it's, it will stand out. It'll look good. And from a distance, you can't tell that I didn't get all the lights pushed all the way in with the hot glue that I was fighting with for 30 minutes. I know it didn't seem like 30 minutes over at that other table, but it was. I, hot glue is my nemesis. I used to think it was paint. It's hot glue. Who knew? So like I said there on the intro, I'm hoping I get to something else this week for Friday. I mean, I know this is kind of a Friday, Monday video here. Uh, just... You know, the weather. That weather was bad enough. It actually put our son and uh, daughter-in-law without electricity for like three days in the northern part of the state. And they're all electric. Yeah. So we were really wondering about, what do you do for showers? Yeah. So like I said, I, I was saying, I'll, uh, I'm going to try to get something else shot uh, for Friday and probably Monday. If I, if I come across a day where I have a good gap, I'll come out here and shoot a couple of videos and do some of the stuff, stuff I have saved up and some of the graphics I've been working on. I'm hoping we get there. So guys, that's going to be all for this one. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.